Right now, we do have Tom Tillis on the phone, the House Speaker uh, in North Carolina, now the Senator-elect from North Carolina. Congratulations, uh, Mr. Tillis. How are you feeling right now? Uh, very good, George. We're very excited. I'm, I'm particularly excited with the outcome across the nation. I think it's a, it's a great evening. Maybe we can get the Congress back on track. What do you think made the difference in your race? Uh, I think we just executed our plan. We'd had our internal polls reading pretty much what happened tonight for about the past three weeks, and I think it was our ground game and just continuing to stay on message and, and having a, a ground game that matched what the uh, what uh, Senator Hagan and the, uh, the Democrat uh, establishment put together. So it looks like Republicans are going to have, you know, 54-plus seats uh, in the Senate right now. Of course, President Obama still has the veto pen, Republicans controlling the House. What do you believe you're being elected to the Senate to do? Well, I, I think we're being elected to have the Congress function again. I, I believe that we need to do, uh, we, we need to lead in a very different way than Senator Reid has led. I think that we need to focus on where we can agree. I think it can begin with looking at the dozens of bills that have come out of the House with bipartisan support and prove that we can govern things like the XL pipeline, regulatory reform. Um, things that, that will create jobs and use that as a basis for proving that Democrats and Republicans can work again and send legislation to the president's desk that hopefully he will support. Uh, how about one, one issue you didn't mention right there is the issue of immigration reform. We've already heard John Carl uh, report tonight that President Obama is still going into this evening, was still planning on issuing that executive order, which would give legal status to another uh, group of immigrants in this country. What would be the fallout from that? Well, I, I hope that the president recognizes that I believe at least a part of the environment tonight was shaped by the anticipated changes that he wants to make unilaterally. I think he should come to the uh, to the uh, House and the Senate and maybe use this as an opportunity to come up with something that we can all agree on. And I think first among those have to be sealing the border. I think if the uh, president acts uh, unilaterally, that he's, he's basically going down a path that I think at least the folks in North Carolina are not comfortable with. And, and maybe that's another area where we can prove that we can work together between Congress and, and uh, the president. Willing to say that Obamacare is the law of the land, or you think repeal is still at the top of the agenda for the Republican majority? Well, I, I think it's very likely. I, 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 for one, would vote for a repeal bill, particularly a bill that, that replaces aspects of it that get back to solving the fundamental problem, which is the 30 million Americans that have a health care problem that we should solve. But we should get away from policy that's destabilizing the environment for some 250 million Americans. And also, I think one of the reasons why our economy is not moving as quickly to recovery as it could. Mr. Speaker, congratulations. Big win for you tonight. Hope you get some rest. Thank you, George. Appreciate it.